Hello everyone. I tell you what, that was touch and go because it's taken me forever to get here on the tube this evening. I underestimated how busy it was, obviously being rush hour. Anyway, welcome to London. Uh, we're starting here in a very busy Covent Garden. And um, look at this. The Christmas trees are already here. This is just crazy. Now you might remember the Christmas video that I did in London, which went viral. I started off here, and the fact that the Christmas tree is already here is a little bit scary, because I'm not ready for Christmas, although the Christmas lights are already up in London. But we'll have a walk around. We'll go through Soho, the West End, see what's open, what's not, and actually how London is preparing for Christmas. Marie McCafferty, good evening, Marie. Hope you're okay. Tell us how the signal is, because uh, I've, literally had to adjust this about 50 billion times. Uh, also hello to Louis Wildpool, hello to Catherine, hello to Paula, Belvedere Crispy is here, hello to David, thank you Louis Weird World for your five pound super chat and David NW, thank you for yours, much appreciated, it helps me um, make more of these videos because of course it costs a lot of money coming down to London. So let's start the tour just outside of Covent Garden tube station and whether or not I get told off for actually filming, I don't know, but we'll see how we go. Uh, the Foxy Bee is not here tonight to tell me if the signal is good, right? <laughs> so I need someone else. Crispy, maybe that's, maybe that's you. It's very busy, as it always is in London. Good evening, Michael. Hello to you. Hello, David. Hello to Sue. Hello to Ali P. Good evening to Hilda, channel member. Good evening, Hilda. Please press the thumbs up, it helps me out enormously. Do you know what, I just went for a pre-drink. No, I didn't really. I wish I had, in the Nags Head. If, you're a, if, if only Forks and Horses is your thing, Nags Head, the actual real Nags Head is here. Lisa's here from Caster. Good evening, Lisa. Everyone is staring at me. Yes, Diane, I love that movie, Last Christmas. Suzanne, thanks for letting us know how the signal is. I haven't got it on 5G at the moment, I've just got it on 4G. Uh, hopefully the, um, it's not too, is it centre, this gimbal? It's a bit playing up tonight. So I've been in London to film some videos that you're gonna see on the channel very soon, visiting some of the, um, the great British tourist sites and also doing a little bit of a walk around. The last time I was here was Christmas last year. Hello Rose, good evening Rose. Hello to Sue. Good evening to SK from Germany. John Forsyth, thank you so much buddy for your £4.49 super chat. It does mean a lot. It helps support the channel. It's cost me a lot of money to come down here, I tell you. But hopefully it'll be worth it for some of the videos that I've been filming today. Hang on, do I need to, um, one second. I think I might need to uh, just clean the screen. One sec, sorry about this, this is very un... Professional. But the screen was looking a little bit blurry. That's a little bit better. The great British phone boxes of London. Hey Scott, good evening. If you've never been to Covent Garden before, right? Back in the day, this was a place where buskers would be. Um, hey Richie, good evening. Jack Somerville. Now, you might or may not remember that in my Christmas video, Covent Garden was the place where there'd be big Christmas baubles. Have they got them up yet? Do you know what? I think I can see them. It is only the 2nd of November. It's only the 2nd of November. Are they up? I can see the um, mistletoe. Oh my God, they are. They are up already. No lights on them though, but they're up already. It's got nothing on Gibraltar. <laughs> They've been up since last year. No, they haven't, have they? I'll tell you what, people push around you all the time here. Does my head in. Thanks, John, for your one pound super nine, one pound 79 super chat. So it's dinner time in London. People having food. Hopefully you'll join me. The stream will be an hour or so, but maybe a bit longer. 
we'll go to the uh, the West End, Leicester Square, Soho, and maybe somewhere more. Craig E, good evening, Craig. Saw you in Great Yarmouth the other week. Yes, I did, Craig. Thank you very much. It is really early for Christmas, isn't it? By the way, if you um, if you are a channel member. Don't forget, there's a little option there where you can change your little badge. And if you've been a channel member for a while, you can change your badge. The perks of being a channel member, of course, is that you can uh, get access to behind the scenes videos, see videos before everyone else, get little badges, emojis as well. Um, the link is in the description if you would like to find out more. Thank you, Sue, for letting us know how good the signal is. Mark has been a signal member for uh, a channel member for two months. Congratulations, Mark. Hey, Lad Mob is here. You're not even in London, Lad Mob. Where are you? You are somewhere abroad, aren't you, at the moment? I'm in your territory. Hotel Chocolat. Right there. So there's been a market on today. I think people are closing up or they're setting up for tomorrow. I don't know. Can we walk through here? Is that all right? Chris, you've just updated your channel membership. Well done. Lad Mobs is in Turkey. Ah, oh, that's why. You should be here, Lad Mobs. It would have been great to have a coffee with your Foss. Or maybe a beer. Typical, really. I will be back actually in London in a couple of weeks. Deborah Aindo. There's normally live music with crowds. Great atmosphere. There is normally Debs, but um, do you know what? Covent Garden has changed quite a lot. I think it's further up there, but um, where you see all the Christmas stuff, these big baubles and mistletoe. Somebody said they've been here since last year. Louis Weird World, I don't know how long I've been a channel member. <laughs> uh, Craig, if you would like to kindly give a super chat, of course, all you need to do, just hit that bottom left-hand corner where the chat is, where there's a dollar sign. Thank you, Leanne. No Scotland, no party. Your five pound super chat, thanks, lad mob. The Christmas tree is up already. It's not lit though, because the Christmas lights in London have not gone up yet, but it is scary to see it, isn't it? Elizabeth, good evening. Ricky J Show, good evening. Just, I just fell down that flipping, <laughs> I didn't even see that. There you go, Louis World, you've changed it now. I've just, I didn't notice that there. Tim, will you be doing anything on bonfire night? Judith, well, to be honest, there's nothing really going on in uh, Norfolk where I am, but I will be live from Blackpool this Sunday if you want to get a bit of dose of seaside fun. So this Sunday I'll be live in Blackpool. Please hit the thumbs up, it helps me out enormously. 121 thumbs up. Stuart, I'm good, thanks. Victory is November. It's November. Let's just have a, I mean, look at this. I mean, I was talking about the baubles and the mistletoe, but it's gone a little bit extreme here. Hello, John, good evening. Hello to Adrian as well. Ali P is here. I know, bonfire night. I used to love doing home fireworks. Is that a balloon? No, it's not. It looks like a balloon. Live music used to be in here, actually but getting ready for the festive period that is what you call a big bauble in fact there are many big baubles and mistletoe all spread around here you can probably still see pumpkins actually are they pumpkins i don't know Charles, good evening jamie mcgregor is here john webster Hope it's dry in Blackpool. Heavy rain, I know, at the moment. Well, it's always raining in Blackpool. Well, whenever I go. Feel free to share the stream as well if you know someone who loves London. My sister said to me the other day, she went, she went, I love coming to London, especially at Christmas. I wish I was there right now. Well, I tell you what, I know it's only November the 2nd, but it does feel a little bit festive. Probably because of all the, uh, the mistletoe and stuff like that but the christmas lights have not been switched on in london just yet they will be switched on i think uh in a week or so but as always like last year i will be doing a uh, a christmas light special around london but this is so beautiful in 
Covent Garden. I remember there used to be live music down here. They don't really do it anymore. Debs, as you were saying, they um, there used to be buskers and everything here, but they don't really do it anymore. London Pigeon. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Good evening, Scott Smart. Janice is here with the itchy bum. Uh, the crispy, the tubes were super busy. I was literally jam packed onto the tubes. I could not. I, I, ha I missed two tube trains because it was so busy. I'll tell you what the worst thing is about being in London is if you need a toilet you have to pay or trying to find a toilet that you can go in that doesn't cost you money yes mark obviously being in norfolk rush hour is a is a unique thing for me <laughs> which sounds crazy didn't it if you're watching this on replay i would love a comment or a thumbs up that'd be great We're just coming into the top end of Covent Garden now before we walk towards Leicester Square. Good evening, Ross. Welcome to London, which looks more appealing at Christmas. London is a great place to come at Christmas. It really is. But actually, you know, it, it, it's a great place to come at any time. Uh, I'm not using 5G, no. Do you know what? These little rickshaws are everywhere in London. I don't want to be copyrighted because of music, but look at them, they look so cool. Do you know what, the best way I've got around London so far is on uh, one of these bikes that you can uh, you can get, which costs you about a couple of quid. Use your wrap, and then you go backwards and forwards wherever you want to, so it's quite nice. I know London's not everyone's cup of tea, but let's face it, at Christmas time, it's the best place to come and have a, have a walk around because it is so festive and uh, even though it's uh, it's early November. Good evening, Tina. Thanks for joining in the live stream. <laughs> Darren, absolutely right. I mean, let's face it, right? I, I'm not going to live in London. I don't want to live in London, but I do love coming to London. So I think we're almost done with Common Garden right now. I'm jealous about all these people having a drink. Cabby's not in the gym yet. Please give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out enormously. And if you haven't already, to see more videos from London throughout the month of November, you, there's some great videos coming up that I've been filming today that I can't wait to show you. So make sure you hit subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when I've uploaded a new video. Shout out to Daniela and Sophia. Stephen, thanks very much for your two pound super chat. Hi Tim from Stevie, uh, from Stephen, Debs and James, love your vlogs. So what you may or may not know is that once I finish the live tonight, I still need to continue my London at night video, which I started filming last night. But uh, literally it's gonna take me at least a couple of nights to film. So uh, I decided to hire a scooter and a bike all of which failed miserably because what they don't tell you is there are certain places that you can't actually take a scooter in London and um, it basically I'm back why 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 did that lose signal I'm in London for goodness sake sorry about that hopefully you're all back with me bit of buffering signal gone a bit dodge as always it's random isn't it the fact that um, I can go live in other parts of the world, which I have done, and I don't lose signal, yet I'm in London and I lose signal. Sorry about that everyone, just stay on the chat, stay on the live if it does go a little bit dodge. There is a big wheel Stuart, yes. It's called the London Eye, or the Millennium Wheel. So we are leaving Common Garden behind with the Christmas tree that's not yet lit up. Isn't that weird, Marie, that some parts of London have not got a very good signal? It is strange. Uh, Leanne, yes, I've been to London Dungeons before. Look, Christmas tree. 
picture quality is not good at the moment. Right, hang on a second. Let me just see if I can change it. I really didn't think I'd have problems. Hopefully that sorted out the fuzzy picture. Let me know in the comments, please. Louis the big wheel in Yarmouth is gone. Yes, it has. We love the Fard Coast. Good evening. Can anyone tell me if the signal's better? Is it still not a great pick? All right, I'll try refreshing it here. Do you know what the weirdest thing is? Is when I'm actually um, on the underground, signal's fine. Let me know if the picture's a little bit better. Yeah, it's good, all okay now, signal fine. The weirdest thing is, right, on the underground, you can now get a phone signal where you never used to be able to before, but you can get a phone signal now on the underground. It's crazy. People just walk literally towards you. Thanks, Rose. Remember, sometimes you need to change your own settings. It could be that. Hopefully it should improve. <laughs> it does fine, Robin. Can we go on the Jubilee line? Do you know what? There is actually um, pictures that you, you can get like internet on the underground now, which is crazy. Yes, I heard about the big wheel. Thanks, Deborah. So we're going to walk down towards the famous Oxford Circus. I'm just literally just walking around uh, this part of Covent Garden. I do love walking around here. Of course, it's a lot better when you've had a drink. <laughs> but yesterday, I've been filming in about four different locations, four different locations yesterday and four different locations tomorrow. So there are a lot of videos coming up. Oh, electric car, you can't hear these blooming electric cars, can you? Yeah, it is the tall buildings that affect the, uh, the signal, but we'll keep going. As always, you can uh, not get lost. Thank you, Vincent, for your five pound super chat. Really appreciate that. Right, so here we are. We're here and we're going to be going towards, of course, Piccadilly Circus. So we need to walk down actually towards Leicester Square. So this is where we're heading right now. But we'll have a walk around here. Do you know what? I love this part of London. It reminds me of Bridget Jones's diary. We'll have a look around the historic West End, see what West End shows are going. And also around Soho and Chinatown. Hopefully the signal will be okay there. Do you have any posh shoes on, says Tina. All right, Tina, you ready? I have sketches. I was in Harrods today and um, it was not very, I, I felt underdressed. But you've got to love the history in London. This particular pub opened up in 1860. Mental. Do you know what? Bridget Jones's diary that made me want to move to London. And I was like, actually, I did live for a little while with an ex-girlfriend in Hampstead. And um, yeah, in the summer, it's just flipping too hot. <laughs> Thank you, Victor. I appreciate that. Ah, oh, thanks, Joey B, for the beer. Look, there's Christmas trees. I do love sketches as well, Tina. Thanks. If we have time, we might even walk down to Boards Buckingham Palace. Whether or not Signal will go a little bit dodgy now, I don't know. Um, I found a place called Donut Time. There's loads of these little donut shops around London called Donut Time. Gabby would love it. Hampstead is a very posh area. Do you know, Marie, I will tell you a story. I was eating in a cafe in, um, in Hampstead and I saw Russell Brand in there once. He was uh, staring at my girlfriend at the time. Thank you, Nigel. This is where the signal may go a little bit dodge as we go into the West End. We'll see how we get on. 
Stay with the stream, of course. Give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out loads. 202 thumbs up. Keep the thumbs up going. In the, in the office as well. This is also a big um, night out for office workers. I mean, what, what day is it? I don't know what day it is. Wednesday? So we're coming into the West End, some big shows down here. It is Tuesday, I forgot what day it was. <laughs> now I'll tell you what, there is a uh, West End show called Back to the Future. Um, which I didn't even know was a thing. But in the West End, there are so many lovely little pubs to go and check out. I hope the signal's going to be okay down here. Thank you very much, everyone, telling me what day it is. I've just been so busy, I completely lost what day it was. Office workers drink every night. You're absolutely right. Ready up over here, please. And do you know something? That is the best show I've ever seen in London. I'm a big fan of that. I absolutely adore that. Gabby took me there on my birthday once. Go and see it, Mary Poppins. Obviously, Mamma Mia is still going, and I've never actually seen Phantom of the Opera. Can you update us on the signal as well? Let us know how it's going. 213 thumbs up, give the video a thumbs up, it helps me out loads. I know, it's Tuesday, we're having a bit of a walk on a Tuesday. Oh, this is something else that's going on in the West End, did you know about this? Only Fools and Horses, the musical, um, and it also stars, who is that guy, what's his name? Paul Whitehouse is in this as well. That looks really good. Ali P has never seen the Mary Poppins film. Oh, here, Back to the Future, the musical. What the heck? I want to go and see this. Gabby, if you're looking for a birthday present, it's at the Adelphi Theatre. Back to the Future. I wonder what I wonder what that will be like. There's always filming going on in London. Oh, fire musical looks so bad. Looks like a tapestry in Spain. <laughs> The thing about London, right, is there's all these little shops that are open till like ridiculous times of the night and you can buy uh, <coughs> cannabis lollies. Look. I want to try one, but I don't know what it will do to me. I'm kind of scared. So we're just here right now, heading into Leicester Square. There may be a, um, a movie, what's it called? Uh, a movie showing, premiere, if we're lucky, I doubt it. A place that I've always wanted to go, the Hippodrome Casino. I've always been skint, <laughs> so I can't. The life of pie just there. So we're heading now towards Leicester Square. Try not to get one over. Hey, even the London taxis now are electric. I couldn't even hear him coming. Thank you, Neil, updating us. I appreciate that. I'll walk this way to Leicester Square, actually. If you are just joining us on the live tonight, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, lots of videos from London coming up, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Massive film shot in Greenwich and Blackheath. No idea what the uh, what it is. Signal is okay. Thank you, Nigel. Now, if you've never been to London before, right, you always probably think the underground is the best place to go to get around, but actually, it's not. You can get around a lot quicker on foot or by bike. Now, if I a little bit more cash and Gabby wasn't, well she's not watching, I would definitely go in the Hippodrome Circus tonight. <laughs> right, we're just walking into Leicester Square right now. Uh, Adrian, if you would love to give a super chat, well that's entirely up to you and um, I'd appreciate it, of course, that little box with a dollar sign. You can donate and support the channel there. These are these bikes I was talking about. I've been going on these bikes all the time. You download the app, right, this is a Lime bike. Um, you download the app, 
and then you literally um, go onto Google Maps, it tells you where the nearest bike is, you click it, and then this comes on. It only costs you like a quid. It's amazing. Or a pound, two pound fifty. Paul, good evening, Tim and Gabby. Gabby's not here. Just wondering if the Chrome at Sunset video has gone. Yeah, the lives only stay up for about 48 to 36 hours. Have I bumped into the Mac Master? He's in London currently. No, I haven't. Um, go to MDs at Leicester Square, Tim. Keith, go on the underground. I don't think I'll get a signal, although I know that the, um, the signal is now available on the underground, which is weird, because I see people on their phones and I'm like, what is going on? Magic Mike Live. I'm sure Gabby would like to see that. So the Christmas lights in London are up, but they're not switched on, as you can see. You'll see that when we go down Regent Street and not Oxford Street. Christine, thank you very much for your two pound super chat. Marie, I've seen more of London watching you, and I live in London. <laughs> Signal is only in a couple of underground stations. Well, every underground station I've been in, it seems busy. I once watched a movie here. I think it was Knowing with Nicolas Cage. Pretty random. Now, um, just coming up to my left is the world famous Leicester Square, of course, where lots of movie premieres happen. Uh, and the most recent movie premiere to happen was um, James Bond. I think they're getting ready to film something else. You have a walk around, see what's there. Because normally on the um, on the sides of the audience barriers, it tells you what they're going to be uh, showing. But I don't know whether it does actually. But we'll have a look. Watch out for pickpockets, Leanne. Yes, thank you very much. I know they are a problem in London. Is Gabby coming to Blackpool, Tim? Andy, yes, she is. Did you see James Bond, Crispy? Was it any good? So if you've ever got a movie premiere, this is the particular street in London where they film the movie premieres. And if you think right now where I'm walking, and this gentleman is, um, the amount of uh, famous people that have walked here. Arthur, thank you very much, Arthur your three pound super chat really does mean a lot is there any presenting positions going at global radio <laughs> i did used to work for global hey gabby thank you darling is there any <laughs> mark mark said it too so if you think about it the amount of famous people that have walked through these doors at the odeon leicester square it's crazy to think and recently um actually i don't know where the um the James Bond premiere happened, whether it did happen here or not, I don't know. 257 thumbs up, 500 people watching, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up, helps me out loads. At Christmas, this looks so pretty, look there's some gingerbread houses there as well. There's no Foxy B to let us know what the signal is like, so I'm uh, asking all you other guys. Must be weird, I wonder what screen they actually use for premieres here at the OG in Leicester Square. It'd be interesting to know, wouldn't it? Thank you, David. I don't know what they're pointing at. Hang on, what's that movie that said Dune? Oh, I think they had their premiere here, actually. Uh, I've heard of the computer game, but never seen the movie. So, um, towards this direction, we will end up in a, a rather rude area. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. 265 thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up. Helps me out loads. La Triviere is showing at the Royal Opera House tonight, okay. If you ever listen to Capital, this is where it's broadcast from. Uh, Global Radio, I have worked for them in the past, bar humbug. Until they ruined local radio and made it all national. But it comes from here. Is Chris, uh, no, what's his name? Chris Moyles, is he still doing Radio X? I think he is. Signal is very good. 
So I think what we'll do is we'll have a walk in Chinatown quickly. Tim goes to the M&M's world. It's amazing. It is pretty good. I've been to the M&M's world in, um, in loads of different places around the world, actually. They're always doing work around here. What are they doing now? I don't know. 270 thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up, guys. Helps me out loads. Put your feet up, Gabby. Enjoy Tim's live. She's probably cooking dinner right now whilst I'm in London. Thank you, Neil. Updating us with the signal. Go to Soho. <laughs> Have I seen many homeless people? Yes, Crispy. But bearing in mind, I see a lot of homeless people in... Uh, in Great Yarmouth as well. The Londoner. This is a very nice hotel in Leicester Square, right? Look, I'll just go quickly show you this. They'll probably tell me after filming. But can you see the fire that's lit in there? So nice. Look. Maybe you open the door. You'll probably tell me to key off. Yeah. Am I allowed to come in? You'd like to, absolutely. Just have a quick look around. Of course. Thank you. This is a very nice hotel. It's just allowed me. <laughs> Oh, very nice. Nice carpet. Is this the reception? Wow. This is the reception. I mean, that's what you want from a hotel reception when you arrive in London, right? To see stuff like that. Can you still get a signal in here? I hope so. Busy bar in here. Shall I check in? Does anyone want to book me a room? <laughs> That's a nice fire. There's a restaurant over there as well. Looks very nice. Smells nice as well. This gentleman's going to let me out. Thank you. Normally that would never happen. Yeah. <laughs> Probably because I had a camera. I tell you what, Marie, um, I went into Harrods today. You'll be able to see the video up very soon. And they introduced me to the world's most expensive bottle of wine, bottle of champagne and bottle of cognac, which was an eye-watering amount. You'll be able to see that video on my channel very soon. Um, <laughs> I was tempted. They actually sell testers, right, for these bottles of champagne and car uh, cognac, right? And uh, even the, look at that. Even the testers were like 700 pounds. The dancing in the man, what's his name? I forgot what his name is now. Hello, Michael. Thank you very much for your super chat, Michael. Much appreciated. There is a McDonald's on Leicester Square. I wonder if we'll get away with walking in M&M's world. Do you reckon we will? We can, but try. Let's get to 300 thumbs up. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, people, please make sure you do. Of course, being in London and Leicester Square, it pays tribute to Mary Poppins. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, that was Gene Kelly, yes. The Londoner is £250 and £520 a night, Robbie G. Blimey. Hence why I'm not staying in there and I'm staying in a Premier Inn. Now, this part of Leicester Square I do love. You can see this um, Swedish clock tower here that um, the bells chime on the hour. There's loads of bells on there and it is really beautiful. Will we get away with walking in M&M's world? There is a big mirror ball up there. If we're gonna have a look inside. Let me know if the signal drops out and I'll walk out. They might not let me film in here, but we can only but try and be told off later. Uh, by the way, look, there you go. If you ever hear at the, I don't know if it's a half an hour or top of the hour, when that rings, that is so nice. There's also like a Lego shop over there. We're gonna have a brief look in Eminem's world. Give Tim money that he gone on underground. Thanks, Victor. <laughs> the queue is here. Right, let's, let's go in the queue. Keep us updated with the signal. Here we go. It's 
okay? You go M and M's world. If you've never been in here before, it's M and M's everywhere. It smells like chocolate. Oh no, there's music going on in here, so I'm going to have to keep talking. But there's um, there's M and M's T-shirts. There's M and M's pillows. Look at that. Can you update us on the signal, Gabby? If you're here. Crispy, let us know what the signal's like, because I'm worried if I go upstairs, I will completely lose the signal. But uh, there is music up here, so I'm going to have to keep talking, and hopefully we won't have any problems. As long as I keep talking, we won't have any problems. There you go. I want some M&Ms now. Wow, they've been selling their mugs a lot. Look at that. There's hardly any mugs left. Right, we'll keep walking and keep talking because of the music. Oh, hang on, we've come to a dead end. This is not good. We need to go. Oh, I'll tell you what, we can't go downstairs because if we go downstairs, we will definitely lose signal. There you go. So uh, there you go. A brief look into M&M's world in London. I don't know if you've ever been into an M&M's world. Like maybe, uh, I think they have one in Las Vegas as well, don't they? It's pretty good. We better go out. If I go downstairs, I will definitely lose signal though. That's the only problem. And there's also a lot of music in and here with YouTube and copyright and stuff like that. But um, yeah, look how many floors there are. I think there's three floors in my name's world. Put some of your mugs in there. <laughs> hey, look, did you ever think there would be an M&M's car? Um, dressing gown and a throw in fact actually I might get one of these for Gabby for Christmas how much is it does it say a price on here I can't see a price very nice oh exit's the, the other side all right thank you very much there you go and just very quickly have a look at the the M&M's walking like the Beatles did across Abbey Road. Ian Hambleton is here. Good evening, Ian. Thanks for joining the live stream tonight in London. Just in M&M's world. We're in Leicester Square right now. Signal's still good. We're not going to be able to get that. Now, I was walking on the, uh, the banks of the Thames last night and I came across a guy who would tell Three jokes for a pound. He was a lovely guy. You'll be able to see him on the channel very soon, actually. English Cat 19, good evening. Hello to Scully, Joey B. Did you see reply? I oh, know not talking to me. Go to 10 Downing Street. Well, we'll see where we end up tonight. Uh, right now, the rickshaws, which are really good fun in London. Look at them. And they normally play music, banging out loud. Look at that. Should I get him one? I don't know how much they cost. Should we ask this lovely gentleman here? Excuse me, how much is it? How much he cost? Eh? How much? Wait, how much? Where do you want to get to? Um, Buckingham Palace, for example, how much? Buckingham Palace, all the all the It goes for minutes, basically. It's minute? How much is it per a minute? minute? You got a pound a minute, it's up to you guys. It's a pound a minute? Okay, all right. Yeah. I might leave it then. <laughs> all right, thanks. It's a pound a minute for that particular rickshaw. Are you taking the mick? Uh, where are you staying in London? I'm staying in the Premier Inn because they're cheap. Run the taxi there. Look, there's loads of these. Hang on, let's ask this guy. Excuse me, how much are, how much do you charge? Buckingham Palace, how much would that be? Buckingham Palace, how much? Just me? Yeah. Are you I charging can... like a pound a minute or anything like that? No, if you want, I can charge you. You can go to the Green, green Park Station. Yeah. How That's much? 20 pounds. 20 pounds? Yeah, just All right, okay. I'll bear it in mind. Thank you very much. Sorry, I had to go away because there's blooming live music playing on YouTube. It's is, it is a bit of a rip in it. I will not be going on there. Can you afford it? Uh, on a budget this uh, last couple of days. You bear in mind, once I finish this live, I've got to go and do a video and continue my video of filming from uh, London tonight. So, this is a hotel, isn't it? The W. 
AFW London, yeah. This is a very nice hotel. Get a bus. <laughs> There's lots of Ws. There's a W Barcelona. There is a W um, LA, um, Las Vegas as well. It's a very nice hotel. Every time I come down to uh, Chinatown, the lights are never on. It's a little bit of a shame. 311 thumbs up. Can we get to 400 for Chinatown? That's London prices for you, Helen, most definitely. I love Chinatown. <laughs> get a bus. I could get a bus. But the bus, uh, the, the bikes are so much cheaper. However, those are not the best, those Santander bikes, because you actually have to pedal those. Electric bikes are a lot better. Are they electric? They might be, hang on. Are they electric? I don't know. No, they're, uh, no, they're not. The electric bikes are better. Let's get to 400 thumbs up. Right now, we're in Chinatown. You could buy your own bike for that. What's the signal light down here, guys? Tell me in the, uh, in the chat. It is really pretty when all these lanterns are on. I don't know why they don't have them on all the time. No, I didn't take my e-scooter, Jacko. There's, there's plenty of uh, e-scooters around, actually. Yes, I'm staying in a humble Premier Inn. I, uh, I don't need to stay in a posh hotel, plus it's too expensive. <laughs> Mr. Wu, hang on. It's like in Benidorm, Mr. Wu's. Hot buffet. The thing is, when you're in Chinatown, where on earth do you eat? You've got so much choice, it's crazy. Last time I was in Chinatown, they had a fire. Oh dear. They're really. Look at that, they've got some amusements in Chinatown. So the West End continues up there. In fact, uh, let's just very briefly just walk up this bit. Victor, I want to meet you. Where are you, Victor? Shame these lanterns are not lit up tonight. Let's get to 400 thumbs up. 562 of you watching hit that thumbs up helps me out enormously loads of videos coming up from london okay so make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell look even the side streets look nice h man is home from work back watching hello gabby's not here as well i tell you what all these rickshaws have massive uh, music playing out like you can see you can hear michael jackson going on there so i've never ever seen this it's been uh, one of the uh, longest shows going in London uh, in the West End Les Miserables um, and just down there is the big row of all these uh, London West End shows thank you very much club feel club fillers you're doing a great job I appreciate that club fillers watch out bus fly me right let's quickly just walk down the other end of uh, China Sound Sherry uh, Ian my favorite transport mode of London has changed uh, are these e-bikes that you can get that cost like one to two pounds. They're amazing. You just literally download the app, get on them, go where you want to go, get off them, leave them wherever, take a photo, you're done. It's like two quid. It's amazing. Crispy, I've not had tea tonight. No, I've got a Tesco special sandwich waiting for me at the Premier Inn. <laughs> I can smell them um, weed everywhere. And talking of weed, Right? I was walking past one of these shops on Oxford Street where you can actually buy weed cookies and weed brownies and I was like how is this legal but apparently it is is it pixelating a little bit it's probably because of the tall buildings but uh, maybe I won't go down there hang on a second I might have to uh, just quickly do something it might just buffer a bit Signal gone dodge just in time for um, Soho, yeah? <laughs> Is it any better yet? Again, it's difficult for me to see on the live stream because it doesn't show where the pixel, go, pixel goes better or not. Hang on a second, let me just see. One second, I just refresh the stream. It might go. Oh, 
hopefully that should be a little bit better with the uh, the stream. Just tell me when it does and I'll obviously just refresh it. I know that some of you might drop out. We're in the heart of the West End right now. That's a lot better. Again, you would have thought London, you know, 5G, but not necessarily. I'm not on 5G, I'm on 4G at the moment. I just need to cross over the road, just bear with me. Try not to get run over. Will the bus let me go? I'm just gonna walk anyway. As, as you do as a Londoner. Okay, so just checking out the map. We are here, Soho is here. The Trocadero, Piccadilly Circus, which is where we're walking to and of course, we're going to walk towards Hyde Park, uh, if we can as well, towards Buckingham Palace. I don't know how well that looks at night, but we'll, uh, we'll have a look. Do you know what? I've never not seen this area busy. I'm sure it was uh, not very busy during the C word. Never seen London like this, Joey B. How come? Tim, I know you've been busy filming, sent you a message about the mic. Helen, have you not received it? I sent them like uh, last week. I'm really annoyed if you haven't received it. What's going on? I sent out about 12 different mugs. Hello to Yvette from New York City. Good evening, Yvette. Thanks for joining us on the live. Remember to subscribe if you want to see a few more London videos coming up on the channel soon. Annette would be scared. Remember guys, it helps me out if you give the video a big thumbs up. We're walking towards um, the world famous Leicester Square. I'm not gonna walk through Soho too much just because there's rude bits. And obviously um, YouTube and copyright and demonetized, yeah. Yes, received it, but bro, oh no, Helen, I'm so sorry about that. No idea why that's happened. That's a uh, royal mouth for you. I did pad it out as much as I could. I received mine ages ago now. It's packed to go back to Hemsby. Eh? Hey? There's the London... Now, this place, right, the London Trocadero. As a kid, I used to come in there. There used to be something called the Sega World. Does anybody remember that? It was totally amazing. Now they've got the Crystal Maze in there, which you probably can see just to the side. But there's so many pubs in London. I mean, like, literally, if you did a tour of all the pubs, it would take you absolutely forever. I saw you at Fairground Frights in the Pleasure Beach in Yarmouth. Oh, hello. I spent most of my time working from home and use my Walk Me mug daily when I work from home. Should we have a quick walk down here? <laughs> We're in Soho right now. And there's um, tables and dark. We won't walk too far down here because I know we're going to lose signal as well. There's so many electric cars in London. It's crazy. Signal's good. Thank you, Gary. Uh, somebody said, do the great British red telephone boxes still have phones in them? The answer to that question. Oh, hang on. No. If I can open it, is no. Well, there's nothing in that. How about this one? Oh my god, there's, there's nothing in that either. Third time lucky. You can't even, hang on, you can't even get in here. No, but I can see there's no phone. So there's your answer. No phone. This is a, uh, a famous club here in, uh, <laughs> Soho. I wouldn't know. It's called the windmill. I've never been in there, Gabby. If you ever ask, no. Never been in there. There's, honestly, there's so many places you can get food. The red phone boxes are now used as a toilet. They do smell sometimes. That's the entrance to the Ministry of Magic. <laughs> Hope you got hand sanitizer. I'm going to have to wash my hands after this live. 573 watching, 355 thumbs up. Come on, hit that thumbs up. 
Feel free to comment after on the video as well below if your uh, memories of London, if you've never been to London before. Honestly, you can be walking around here at uh, quarter to midnight and it will still be just as busy. Where are you going to eat tonight, Ross? Uh, I've got a Tesco meal deal. So has classy restaurants and clubs, I understand now. Oh, do you, Ian? <laughs> Is Gabby in the chat? I hope she's not. I'm going to try and cross the road in a minute. It's extremely busy. West End is just up there. We're going towards the world famous Leicester Square. Piccadilly Circus, sorry. Uh, Lewis, yes, I will be doing a video when Winter Wonderland starts. I think it starts in a couple of weeks. This is a bus lane, so hopefully no buses are coming. Christmas time is the best year of the time of the year to come to London. Everything looks so pretty, it really does. Had two New Year's Eves there, got back in the hotel, gone four in the morning, Darren. But it was a good night. Now you may or may not remember, back in the day, these screens were all uh, very old, but they've all been changed now. And in fact, there's also um, some 3D stuff that appears on these screens every so often. But they're all like um, HD screens now, so they're totally amazing. And I don't know whether it's happening at the moment, but they do these 3D things that come up on the screen. Are they going to come up on their screen tonight? But look at the look at that HD man. I remember seeing these back in the 80s with the old Coca-Cola sign, but they've been completely replaced. I wonder how much advertisers pay to be on that board. But here we are in the heart of Piccadilly Circus right now. The London buses going around, people calling taxis. You can't get any more London than that. That screen is always overlooked as well. It's a small screen. Tim, when are we? Uh, we are moving to Hemsby from Dagenham. Great video, but all the cars and the vehicles look stretched, so I have no idea what you're on about. Gabby's in the bar. <laughs> is she really okay right let's walk over towards the fountains the fountains are not on people always sit around these though as you can see people are playing football in the middle of piccadilly circus isn't that typically british 378 thumbs up. Please give the video a thumbs up, it helps me out loads. So we've just walked from uh, Leicester Square over there. We walked through a little bit of the West End, of course. And right now, here in the world famous Piccadilly Circus. 612 people watching, give the video a thumbs up. Now you may or may not have seen my Christmas lights video that's had over 600,000 views. And I went down Regent Street, which is just there, and those, um, those beautiful angels are back again. Christopher, thank you very much for your £1.99 super chat. And the angels are just there. They're not lit up yet because the Christmas lights have not yet been turned on. But it still looks good. Shall we go to Knightsbridge? This is probably one of the most famous views of London around the world. And the Coca-Cola sign has been there forever and they still have pride of placement. It's like Bono with the whole um, Christmas song. <laughs> he wanted to be part of it. And Coca-Cola still wants to be part of the advertising here on uh, Oxford Circus. They've been here for years. I mean, even as a kid, I remember seeing them. Battery check's good, Crispy, thanks. 607 video, 607 people watching. Are you going to do a Christmas size video this year? Ian Hamilton, yes I will. I doubt it'll get as many views as I got lucky with last year, over 600,000, but you never know. 
Okay, so I'm going to ask you in the comments, do we go down uh, Regent Street or shall we go down there? Which I believe is towards Buckingham Palace. Signal might go dodge down there. Hey, Peter. So let us know, Regent Street or should we go down towards Buckingham Palace? Let me know in the comments. Chat now. Quick. A lot of people saying Regent Street. Buckingham Palace will be very quiet this time of night, so I think we'll go down Regent Street, shall we? Hey, Jacko, thanks very much for your two pound super chat. What is the time anyway? Uh, it's quarter to eight. There you go, this is one of those rickshaws. One pound an hour, as he said. I know it's red, but uh, I'll never get over it, so I'm trying to be um, shrewd and go across the road right now. Yes, once I've finished this video, crazy to think, but once I've finished this video, I still need to record my video that I'm filming over the last couple of nights, which is London at night, where I'm actually going to see all of the uh, attractions across London at night in 4K. Obviously, if you're watching this um, on a replay, this is um, a stream, so the quality may not be as great, but make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see that video coming up very soon. I also took a trip today into the world famous um, Harrods. I got told off for filming, <laughs> but I literally saw some expensive, ridiculous stuff. Now, when the Christmas lights are on, you must come down here because it is absolutely beautiful with the, uh, the angels lit up. They're back for this year. Please tell me they took them down. Did somebody just really say, am I in London? Did somebody really just say that in the chat? Am I in London? <laughs> Let me know what the signal's like down Regent Street. I think it might be busy. I think the, might, the signal might get a bit dodge. Hang on, I'm trying to check on my friend. Looks okay at the moment. Tim, you should go to BBT, BBC TV Centre. I stood there waiting for the one show host, Kevin. Um, I was there la a few weeks ago, actually. Signal is okay. Gary, thank you very much. 405 thumbs up. Thank you very much. Let's get to 500. It'd be amazing to get to 1,000 on a live stream. But whether or not that will happen, I don't know. One day, maybe. Oh, hang on. Scooter check. Signal's good at the moment. Four. Obviously, um, these look so much better when they're on. But the Christmas lights in London have not yet been switched on. If you're wanting to know. Looking down towards yeah, Oxford yeah. Circus. The train fares down into London are horrific. I tell you what, I booked with Greater Anglia. Me, Gabby and Holly, we're coming back in a couple of weeks. Five pound per person per way. That's what you call a deal. Uh, Renata said my mum works at BBC Regent Street in London. The BBC is here in Regent Street, is it? I know that there's some very expensive shops and one of my favourite chocolate shops that I've actually never tried, Cartier, no hang on, what's the chocolate shop, hang on, I'll come to it in a minute. So look at this look, here's a cafe in London that sells Don Perignon and um, world famous cakes. Look at this, champagne and cake anyone? That's it, Godiva. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you, darling. Look at the cakes in here. With some Don Perignon. Um, today, when I was in Harrods, the most expensive bottle of champagne that I saw was £22,000. £22,000 for a bottle of champagne. There's not many... Gabby, am I going crazy? Or did we come in here and buy some macaroons once? How much are they? Macaroons are £1.65 each, not bad, for a box of six, £8.95. It's not all ridiculously expensive in London. It's called Thornton's Tin. <laughs> if only.
almost 500 thumbs up do you know what it is so different now i'm from norfolk when you come to london it really does open your eyes because of how much money there is in the world and like when you go into a shop like harrods and i was in there today and there was people walking around with their personal shoppers and some of the stuff they were buying buying was like as much as my house there is a hollister on regent street no sierra in london well there is crispy it is quite close to the uh, the coast let me know what the signal is going to be like up here there's a lot of tall buildings here in regent street hopefully it'll be all right let's get to 500 thumbs up that'll be good one pound 65 for a biscuit yes london prices it is ridiculous we'll go and have a walk down oxford street as well whilst we're here tram fund <laughs> yeah we need that of course gregory if you'd love to give a super chat it supports the channel bottom left hand screen of course if you're watching this live where the dollar sign is would be very appreciated it does help me pay for things like uh, petrol money and obviously staying in hotels it's a great way to support the channel if you would like obviously you don't have to remember when the video is over to comment below it also helps me out it does look weird though doesn't it without the uh, the lights being on it feels like there's uh, an atmosphere missing is the ferrari shop still there i don't know victor the signal's bad crispy what's the signal like is it okay or is it getting a little bit dodged down here this is a live stream if you're watching some replay Right, hang on a second, let me just try to refresh this. Is the signal any better now? Mike says you can't beat Blackpool. <laughs> Is that better now? That's a lot better. All right, so what I'm going to do is a lot of people do this during the Christmas time. So I'm just going to walk along this centre bit because it might help with the signal. But because the uh, the buildings are quite high, that's why it affects it. It's a live stream if you are watching, okay? Let's just quickly uh, cross over. A lot of the London buses now are electric. It's very strange to not hear them coming. He looks very happy. <laughs> If looks could kill. Look at that. Have I passed Hamleys? No, I haven't, not yet. Honestly, when these are lit up, it looks spectacular. Is there, I bet there's no one pound burger in London. No, there isn't. We're on Regent Street at the moment. Screenshots would be good. Now, Crispy, if you can update us with the signal as Foxy B is not here, just as we go along here, because the buildings are very high and I don't know where, what this is going to be like. We're walking up towards Oxford Street. But yeah, if I was here when the lights were on, it would look beautiful. See you, Victor. Thanks for watching. Almost 500 thumbs up. Let's give the video a thumbs up. Helps me out enormously. If you're watching this on replay, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Lots of videos coming up from London in the month of November. I'm currently walking down the middle of, uh, of Regent Street. People are allowed to walk on here, so before you ask, I'm not doing anything wrong. It does feel weird like walking right in the middle of the street with no car. You can walk along. And actually at Christmas time, a lot of people walk down here to get photos of the uh, the beautiful winged angels look at that i think it's more than three pound for a burger <laughs> i am sure it is so abercrombie and fitch is on my right hand side i love shopping in there when i can afford it carl langfield on my left designer shops is it a good night in London on a Saturday night Eugene of course it is but every night in London is like a Saturday night 
Harshart Regent Street this weekend, really? I have to cross the road here. Hang on, I better wait. Look, there's a street down there and there's a sign that says Soho. We have walked down a little bit of Soho already. <laughs> of course, for the family channel. It depends where you go. The city of London is dead in the, uh, the weekend. Well, it, I guess it does. Tim, has Gabby given you a shopping list? No, she hasn't, Ian. Hopefully it's not too windy down here as well because it acts like a bit of a, like a wind tunnel. Can we get to 500 thumbs up? If you're watching this video and you're signed into Google, please make sure you hit that thumbs up. If it hasn't, if it's grey, you haven't hit it. Hit it and it's blue, all good. We may have issues with the signal down here though. That looks fine on my phone. No offence taken. That's probably because of the uh, the camera that I'm using at the moment. Crispy, what's the signal like, Gabby? Let me know. There's no Foxy B here to tell me. I want that angel. There's another one coming up. Very nice. Gabby, how come you're not in the bath having some food? It's a nice Porsche. Hey, maybe you should knock on the uh, the car window and say, what do you do? <laughs> Have you seen those YouTube videos? Okay, so people talk about Hamleys. That's on my right hand side now. And um, they're getting ready for their Christmas window displays which uh, you can see at the moment is all kind of uh, taped off. Their Christmas displays are world famous. They're obviously preparing them right now. That's why they're all red. So we can't really see anything at the moment. But no doubt, as always, they are very pretty. But Hamleys is a, uh, of course, British tradition. They have a four Did you have a four-door Porsche? I didn't see that. Carnaby Street is coming up, yes, but uh, it depends whether we get the signal down there. The winged angels still look pretty good at night. Please tell me they don't keep them up all year round, though. Surely they don't. So up the top here, we can swing a left down to Oxford Street. I walked around the Highgate Cemetery. No, I haven't. BBC Broadcasting House is shortly coming up. Is it? Where is that? Just to remind me. I can have a walk around there, actually. I did used to work for the BBC, so I can't slag them off. Because <laughs> I never know when they might be watching. It was BBC Local, not National, before you ask. That is such a beautiful building. Happy Christmas, Tim and Gabby. Ha ha, Neil. Thanks, Neil. Right, let's just quickly uh, walk over. Carnaby Street is down there. We will lose signal down there, but let me just show you the entrance to Carnaby Street. It's always nice to walk down here, but I will definitely lose signal down here because um, the buildings and stuff like that. But uh, I will show you up until here because I don't think I can go down there anymore if I, uh, if I show you that. Carnaby Street, Soho very pretty down there why is everybody saying one have I missed something we need to walk back in the middle again so we get a better signal you said press one who did did I, I don't remember that oh, hang on. sorry coming through center walk again Mark, where are you on about? Am I going in the right direction?
Hit the thumbs up, guys. Let's get to 500 on the live stream this evening. It is ultra busy, ultra busy on Regent Street. We're at Maddox Street right now and Great Marlebone Street on the right. If you know anything about London. We've got the Palladium down there. Is the signal okay? Huge Nike shop coming up. Was well, H&M on the right hand side. Pass go. <laughs> takes next, takes the ne take the next left to the BBC. What down there? We don't want to go and see the BBC, do we? They've yeah. changed their logo. It's awful. Why on earth did they do that? I'm sure uh, any of you uh, British people who are in the chat, which I'm sure is 90% of you, would probably say about the new BBC logo. They spent probably thousands or tens of thousands of pounds on a company to say hey refresh our logo and they uh, they changed it to something that looks ridiculous there you go is the signal still good I did used to work for the BBC car I'm not slagging them off but I'm just saying the new logo I think looks rubbish and you spend thousands of pounds of license, license payments money on them um, on, on, on something that somebody could have done if they were like 12 years old and said actually I'm just gonna make them smaller and just put them uh, I mean completely if you're gonna redesign something redesign it better there's a lot of people that do not like the BBC anyway let's stop talking about them <laughs> so we're coming up towards Oxford Street now is this Bogner no it's not Bogner Come on, let's get to 500 thumbs up, guys. Helps me out enormously. Super chats are more than welcome. I'm walking in the middle of the road for you guys. I don't know, Lewis. I really don't know that. The Nike store is on the right-hand side. Ian, it's funny you say that. Uh, I did get a, a message from somebody from the BBC a few months ago asking if they could use some of my footage from the coast, and I said uh, no. Because they didn't want to pay and I know that my stuff is free but like when the BC are wanting to use it I'm like uh well hello okay so Oxford Street last year had um, these kind of like banner lights that used to say London one life we're all together they've changed them this year so they're all stars and uh, you can see them there they're not lit up at the moment but they do look pretty the BBC's up there, isn't it? So, should we swing a left? Or should we swing a right? Tell me in the comments. Left or right? We have to decide. Left or right? Where would you like me to go? We've had one right. One left. Two left. Left. Right. Leanne, thank you very much. No, I haven't. I have been to Camden Market, yes. Viewer from Pakistan, thank you very much for watching, buddy. Straight on. I didn't say straight on. A lot of people are saying left. So we're going to swing a left. Adrian, I have no idea what we got your message deleted. I don't know what you mean. It's very busy. Everyone's probably just staring at me right now. They're like, what on earth are you doing right in the middle of Regent Street? It's the key down there. Anyway, people are crossing, so you better go. We'll go left. Somebody loves EastEnders. You might have seen me and Gabby on that before. As doubles. Look, there was a big Microsoft shop here over there. So, coming down here, we're going to come across a, a few famous shops. The old HMV that used to be on Oxford Street. As always, if you would like me to go somewhere specific, uh, do tell me in the comments. 
we've got some time. Hang on, what's the time? Because I've still got to do uh, some other recording tonight. So I've got to keep the live semi-brief. Look at this bus, look. 007, fully wrapped. Amazing, Daniel Craig, supporting London. Love it. Watch out for the bus. That looked closer than it was. The stars will look really good. I bet you they're all you, um, they're all LED, so they'll probably shine all different colours and they'll probably all change different colours. But to be honest, I preferred the lights last year. Are you near South Bank of the London Eye? Ian, I don't know. I can't remember if I am. We could go to the London Eye. If someone is in the comments to tell me, direct me, because I don't know where that is from here. I know where it is from my hotel. Almost 500 thumbs up. Keep it going, guys. It helps me out enormously. Uh, why book a hotel if you're filming at night? Darren? Well, that's a stupid question because, Darren, I need to sleep somewhere. <laughs> Straight to jail. Don't pass. Go. Monopoly. Love it. The bus... The bus... The bus mirrors will get you. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. 500 thumbs up. Thank you so much, guys. This looks like a famous shop on the right hand side, but this is John Lewis and Partners. Well, it's still a famous shop, blooming expensive. Me and Gabby wanted to get a pram from in there. 100 quid, not too bad, it was sold out. Not surprised. I like the, uh, the LED lights there though, that looks really good. Hey Nigel, thank you very much for your £1.49 super chat, super sticker. Luke is loving the video, thank you Luke. If you are brand new to the channel, this is your first time ever watching me, Remember to hit that subscribe button down there on the right hand side. Through the month of November, I've got lots of uh, London videos coming up. Brilliant. Yeah, man. <laughs> Chavs, <laughs> says Adrian. I wouldn't say that to their face, obviously. That's the first bit of heckling I've had tonight, which is pretty amazing because I thought we'd have had a lot more. Can you tell me what the signal is like walking down here as well? Because uh, it's a live stream. We should be coming up to the original HMV as well. Have you seen any supercars? Trevor, yes, I did see a Porsche. I saw a Lamborghini. I've seen quite a few actually. A bit dodge. Good signal, signal's okay. You see, Crispy, when you say signal's okay, it concerns me a little bit. What kind of shops are down here on um, Oxford Street, you ask? Selfridges is down here. Absolutely, I've subbed, loved your humour. Thank you, Oslo, for joining me. I'm surprised you haven't seen hundreds of Porsches. I have seen quite a few Porsches. Honestly, though, Harrods in London is just ridiculous. Some of the things in there, you think to yourself, how do people, I'm from Norfolk, right? How do people afford this kind of stuff? London living, I don't know. Michael says, good signal on my TV. 650 people watching, 513 thumbs up. We can do more than that, can't we? Thank you, Colin, for your 99p super sticker. Weird little emoji face there. Tim, it's per people's personal settings. Yes, remember, if you are watching this on the live, sometimes your stream settings, you have to check. I don't know why, it all depends on your internet connection. Aren't you scared? Annette, no. I hope the signal still stays okay. Now normally, Debenhams looks pretty good lit up, but obviously Degenham, uh, Debenhams is shut down, so that's why it's dark. Scarlett says toilet. Don't, Scarlett. I do need a toilet. Um, Ian Hamilton, if you're still in the live chat, tell me how to get down to uh, the London Eye. Oh, just quickly, New Bond Street, right? If you're here for the Christmas lights, can I just, just briefly touch upon this, right? If you're here for the Christmas lights at Christmas, you probably can't see it down there. But you've got these feathers and this big globe that down there that looks really good. So if you're on a Christmas lights tour, head down to Bond Street. Sorry, taxi. 
go down New Bond Street towards London Eye. We will go back down there towards the London Eye actually to end the end the vlog, but we'll just quickly walk down Oxford Street a little bit more towards Selfridges. See if they've got any of their Christmas stuff up just yet. Mark, stop it. I do need a toilet. And in London, you can't go to the toilet anyway. You have to pay. And if you go into a pub or anything, they do they tell you off. And you can't go to the toilet unless you pay. The eye is too far. I'm sure it is. It's a lot far down there, isn't it? Find a tree. You can't do that. Do they still have an M&M shop? Sean, if you rewind the video, you'll be able to see that. Look at that. One pound a minute. Hey Chris, thank you very much for your £4.49 super chat. I really appreciate that. That's what the red phone boxes are for. <laughs> no, they're not. This is here all year round. And at Christmas, come and get a, a fresh pomegranate squash. Look at that. And in fact, I was in um, Harrods today and they sold pineapple trees, something you don't see very often. Have got any prices here? They're good pomegranates. I love pomegranate juice. It does look weird around uh, Oxford Street this time of year because it looks dark. We're going to be coming up to Selfridges. We'll see if they've got their Christmas lights, uh, Christmas windows going on. Yes, I know George Inner, he would do, wouldn't he? Has the old Debenhams? No, Lewis, he hasn't. Debenhams is shut, so he's got nothing on. Those lights are normally pretty good. In fact, coming up on the left-hand side is a world-famous shop on Oxford Street. HMV, does anybody remember this? The sign is still here. No one has actually overtook this shop. And... Um, it's still here, look at that. The old HMB sign with the dog and the uh, gramophone. Is it cold, Tim? It's a little bit chilly. It makes you think, who are those people up there? Is that flats or what? It's a 30 minute walk to the eye. Is it really from here, Mark? I could, of course, get on a scooter, but I need my phone, that's the only thing. Let's get to 600 thumbs up, shall we? 535 at the moment. It's not four degrees, no. No, don't walk to me. That sign says, I'm very hungry. God bless. You ask about homeless people, they're not just in London, they're everywhere, obviously. Some are homeless, some make a lot of money doing that. And just very quickly, Darren, thank you very much, buddy, for your five pound super chat. Um, more Christmas lights to come down here, just as, just off Oxford Street, and you can see the Christmas lights video on my channel if you want to go and look at it now. But these look really good at night. But I wanted to point out something that is growing in London. You may or may not have seen it before. It's called Donut Time, and these are popping up everywhere. And they're these little shops that just sell, obviously, donuts. Gabby's still in the chat. I bet she's not. Let's check out the donuts in here. You've got a Gordon Jamsey. <laughs> it's so good. Look at these donuts. How much are your donuts, mate? Four fifty. Four fifty? Yeah. Did you do like a special offer? Yeah, four for sixty or six for twenty-four. Okay, cool. Oh, look at that. There is a Bruno Mars. Kinder Bueno. <laughs> Love that. It's a shame you don't sell coffee as well. Some of them do, it's just we're we're a small store. Oh okay, all right. Love it though, keep the donuts up, thank you very much. Sorry. Yeah, donut time, check them out. They're amazing. They've just been popping up all over London, as the rickshaws have. There's quite a few here, look. So coming up on the right-hand side, we will see the famous Selfridges. This is one of the most famous streets in London. It is just ridiculously busy. And most of these shops are actually open till about nine, 10 o'clock at night. And you feel sorry for the people that work in the shops, but they do long hours. My ex-girlfriend used to work in Selfridges. She used to get 
insane tips sometimes as well. Say hi to him. Do you know who I am? I'll get a discount, Mark. <laughs> Don't think I will, Mark. 549 thumbs up. Keep the thumbs up coming. Can we get to 600? That'd be great. We're on Oxford Street at the moment. Hopefully the signal is still good, crispy. Is it still good? Let us know. Wow, it's quarter past eight almost. I think this is one of the, there was a shop down here that um, sold cannabis lollies, cannabis cookies. And I'm like, how is that legal? I don't know where it was, but I was like, uh? Not Gabby, if you're watching, not of course I would try any of that. Signal is fine, thank you, Sue. Don't pay 450 for a donut. That's one <laughs> of a pram, 1,000 pram. Hey, Ian, that's Gabby for you. I would never pay that much for a blooming pram. Is it cold? Scarlet, no, it's not. The temperature's around about 12 degrees. As you can see, I'm not wearing my heated jacket, though. I'm just wearing a, a very light jacket this evening. It's not too bad. We're coming up to the world famous Southridges and they've already got their Christmas light windows, I think. Have they? Five hundred and fifty seven thumbs up, hit that thumbs up. I might need to get on that bike going back. You never get lost in London. You can see where we are right now, uh, walking towards Hyde Park where um, Winter Wonderland is back this year, in a couple of weeks actually. Regent's Park is over there, obviously where we just come from, Soho. Yeah. Selfridges looks good though, doesn't it? Very colourful. Can you do Camden Market, Tim? They're not beeping at me, they're just Londoners. Look at those rickshaws out there. Okay, so um, Selfridges in London, would you say is as expensive as um, Harrods? I don't think so. But their Christmas windows are already here. Should we go and have a look at them? I hope the signal's gonna be all right. Let us know if it isn't. So let's go and check out Harrods Christmas windows. I know it's not even the blooming 5th of November yet. Just went across the road. Uh, Jimbo, Big Ben is still covered in um, in tarpauling and um, scaffolding at the moment. Five hundred sixty-five thumbs up. There is no. I tell you what, Tracy. There is some um, nuts being roasted outside the British Museum, where I was at earlier. Thank you very much, Mr. Taxi Man. So this is Harrods right now, um, and their Christmas shop is here. So let's check out. This is just weird. I know it's way too early, but um, yeah. We'll go and have a look. Hey Chris, don't forget to subscribe Chris. Lots of London videos coming up soon. This is one of the most beautiful shops. So obviously yeah, Harrods is pretty, but this is really nice. And each of these windows are obviously world famous at Christmas because they put so much work into them as well. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate that. Look at these, they're like big baubles with lights. Every year they're different. They are different every year. This feels weird to be looking at Christmas stuff so early. What's that? He's got a lasso around the star. Never too early for Christmas. This is freaky. What the heck is going on there? All those hands. Crazy. Now, when I did the Christmas video, which is on my uh, channel right now, go and check it out after this. Um, it was a, it was a, it was a very quiet night down Oxford Street, and there was a Santa Claus just outside here, and it looks so great. Thank you, Victor. Look at that; it's weird. They've got Christmas trees up outside of uh, 
Southridges right now. Looks beautiful though, the building. Typical London. Let's have a quick 180 of where we are right now. When is the Big Ben reformation going to finish? I think sometime the end of this year, maybe. Beginning of next. Darren, good evening. I'm okay, thank you. Should we see how much these rickshaws are? It depends where you want to go. Signal's good, thank you, David. Look at that, from 1909. And probably this entrance has not changed whatsoever. It's just weird that there are Christmas trees here. It's doing my head in. We haven't, we haven't had bonfire night yet. I would go in there, but um, I went into Harrods today and they told me off for filming. It's almost like you want to say to them, do you want me to close my eyes when I go into the shop? Right, we'll continue looking at some of these uh, Christmas displays. Although that's not very Christmassy, I don't think. Some of these are Christmassy, some of them are not. Uh, somebody said, does your Premier Inn have an entrance like that? Ross, no it doesn't. I wonder who actually has these ideas. I mean, that's just odd. A Christmas filled by imagination. Yes, you have to imagine it, because I don't know what that means. I mean, let, look, who's going to seriously go, do you know what, I want them. I want them trousers. Take a ride on a tandem for free, Tim. Stuart, they won't give it to me for free. I love the blonde afros. Very good. Now this is nice. This is Christmas, isn't it? Look at that. So decadent. So Harrods. That looks nice. Someone who gets paid a lot of money, definitely. Definitely. I sometimes go into shops and photo the newspapers and go home and read them. What? That's weird. <laughs> when I think about what is that selling, I'm a little confused. What is that selling? What is that selling? I don't get it. Otherworldly treasures. Okay. Some lobsters. Lobsters. Yes, another day I did do a, uh, a tour of Old Trafford. They're losing miserably at the moment. I wish I hadn't done that video now. <laughs> now, normally this is the best Christmas window. Um, and they normally have a massive Santa in here. This one is a little bit, um, I don't know, it's lacking something. It's not very big. It could be a little bit more exciting than, uh, than that Christmas tree. There's just moving like that. Keith, I'm staying in a premier inn. Not seen Father Christmas yet. No, I haven't. The world famous Selfridges sign. Next to Marks and Spencer. <laughs> my fault. So there you go, that was Selfridges on Oxford Street. We'll walk a little bit further up. Can we get to 600 by the end of the stream? That'd be good. If you're watching this on replay, remember to hit subscribe if you want to see some more videos of London this November. And also give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out loads. The prices are expensive, Sandra. Well, he's not looking where he's going. Uh, Jimbo, yes, I did a walk on the London Eye today. That video will be up on my channel soon. I've never been on the London Eye before. It used to be the world's biggest observation wheel. It isn't anymore. Obviously, that, that tile's now been taken to...
Dubai. Look at that sweet shop, Candylicious. That looks insane. So some parts of Oxford Street are turning Christmassy. At least it's dry tonight, yes, I know. Victor, channel members, all the details are in the description. You get little certain perks, like for example, you get to see videos before everyone else. You get uh, access to emojis. Um, and it's a great way to support the channel. You also get a free walk in your mug, depending on what tier. All the, dis uh, all the uh, details are in the description if you want to check it out. I am getting my steps in. You would not believe, Crispy, how much walking I have done. And when this live finishes, how much walking I've still yet got to do. Um, people were also saying, is there a Primark on Oxford Street? And how big is it? Well, Gabby, to answer your question, yes, there is. It is a pretty big Primark. It's actually on the corner here. It's a little bit understated. I mean, I've seen some uh, sexier Primarks around the country, and this is the uh, the main one in London. It is pretty big. I mean, it stretches all the way over there, but still pretty big. The temperature tonight is a low of one. I think that'll be a lot later. At the moment, it's about uh, 12 degrees, I think. So a massive thank you if you have watched this live tonight. Subscribe to see some more London videos coming up for the month of November. I really appreciate all your support. I have to go now because I need to continue doing a video which is coming up on the channel soon, which is London at night, where I visit all of the famous London locations at night, and that'll also be in 4K, so definitely worth watching. Thank you very much if you have been watching. Thank you for giving the thumbs up. If you're watching this on replay, please smash the thumbs up. Please make sure you comment under the video once the live is finished. It helps me out enormously. And don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you very soon. I'll leave you with Oxford Street.